I think I'll spend a little time on this video because this is kind of an important car. This is a uh, 35,000 mile, actually it's less than 35,000 original miles since new. Never restored, garaged of course quite a bit, and uh, it's kind of a special history. Um, I found this car a long time ago, about uh, in 1990 or so, and um, it was uh, in the hands of the original owner, and it had about the 30,000 miles at the time. Um, brought it out here to California, and and it's been kind of put away um, by the person that uh, I found it for. Until recently, um, it was brought out of bondage, so to speak, and out in the open. Um, the new owner that has it now was so happy to get it. He found me, and I and I gave him the story. And he asked me if I would uh, inspect the car and take care of a few little things on it, make sure it was safe to drive. So that's what we're doing today. Um, but I want to share this car with you. So let's uh, let's walk around this and look at this time capsule. Um, Series 62 was basically the standard 59 Cadillac coupe, two-door hardtop. Not a Coupe de Ville, it's a Series 62. You won't see anything that says Coupe de Ville on the car anywhere. And the standard Series 62s came with manual windows. If you see one that has power windows and power seats, that's an option. If it has air conditioning, that's an option. Um, basically, this is your basic entry-level 59 Cadillac. The seats are cloth and vinyl, not leather. Um, pretty much uh, the same trim package, of course. But, of course, it doesn't say Coupe de Ville on the side. So exterior, the first giveaway that uh, your car is not a Coupe de Ville is that it doesn't have the Coupe de Ville script. Second part, it'll have the emblem right here. It's a little bit of a difference between the de Villes and non. So um, go around the car a little bit here looking at different points. You can see that uh, the glass has the Easy Eye uh, bug in it, and the date codes all are within the correct parameters to make it original glass. Looking at the pot metal condition, and we'll look at the uh, condition of the original weather strip and the positions of it. For anybody that's restoring a car, here's an original car with the original rubber weather strip intact all the hardware as it left the factory in 1959. Right down through here you can see the trim, how everything uh, was done. The carpet, original to the car, again remember that, it's original. Carpet pad, heel pad, door jams, hardware, the switches, color and so forth, the trim and hold downs in the weather strips, the J strips in the doors, and the back sides of all that. You see the little trim screw down in the bottom corner of the door panel. Position of the manual uh, window adjuster. Again, the finish of the hardware and the doors.
inside the glove box. box light ashtrays lighters the style of rubber bumpers for the glove box door and ashtray door See that? See how that door closes? I'm just gonna let it go by itself. Almost went by itself. Just a little bit more. There you go. Okay. Go back here and look in the window at the package tray. forward the finish of the uh, vent intake grill yeah you can see that it doesn't have the um, fog light option, it's just got the park lamps and we've got a T3 here but not on the outer bulb. Same on the driver's side. Okay, now under the hood, um, over the years I, I'm positive that uh, there's been some touch-up going on under here, um, not by me, but uh, mostly it's just in the uh, core support and some of the pieces there, but you can still see that most of it was left alone. For some of you guys that are doing authentic restorations, you'll want to see those uh, the inspection stamp right there. You'll also want to see on the back side of the windshield wiper motor the remnants of the little red dot on the back of the motor. That's an important detail for authenticity. look at the um, fuel pump and fuel filter the fittings there the decal on the front of the air cleaner where it's at in relationship to the front of the air cleaner Yeah, we know that uh, hoses have been replaced, belts probably as well, possibly even valve cover gaskets. Uh, 
I don't know if you can read the number on the generator. The wiring position. The regulator. You just kind of look at things here. Of course, uh, <laughs> that's the wrong battery. We know that. You don't have to tell me that. Transmission cooling hoses. Four blade fan. See the ground strap down there from the frame to the engine. See the jacket on the uh, battery cable going down to the starter. Okay, enough for under the hood, I hope that helps a little bit. Uh, I'll back up once in a while to kind of get a shot of the entire car. Okay. Rear view mirror, day night. There's the windshield bug right here. And this one. And this one with a little crack in the glass. Darn. Okay. Here we go on the passenger door. Again, the hardware, the rubber. The door stops, everything totally authentic, original, never restored. Headliner, of course, Series 62 is the cloth headliner. And I think while I'm in here, I might as well put everything back in the glove box and close the door. You'll notice that the speedometer trip meter rubber knob is gone. I'm sure that it cracked and broken fell off years ago and let's take a look inside the vent doors you can see the hardware in there what it looks like and of course the heater box a little bit under the dash you're seeing more than I am so I don't know what I'm showing you right now there's the firewall pad and some of the cables, neutral safety switch and so forth, right there. Okay. Weather strips. I'll open the vent window so you can see the rubber in there. Might be better to show you from the other side. Okay, let's uh, go around to the trunk. As I'm going around, of course, look at the gaps, the way everything fits. The keys still have the uh, code on the little knockout.
Okay, so there, there we go inside the trunk. The uh, uh, insulator underneath the uh, metal does have a little uh, overspray. It's not black. So it's got a little color to it. Another one of the controversies is it supposed to be unpainted or painted. Now yeah, there you go. Actually a little bit of overspray on the rubber bumpers too. But definitely no overspray or anything going on on all the hardware in there. All right, into the trunk. There's the original trunk material. The cardboard, how it's attached with the clips, goes up across the back. You see this rear speaker. Over on this side, we got the original jack in position. And there's the um, jack uh, bumper piece that's uh, in the little holder in the corner. Spare tire mounted, lug wrench, jack base, and the factory wheel chalk. Original trunk weather strip. And you'll notice right here, it's not a molded connection at the end. It's not. It's a one-piece steel without a molded uh, connection to make it a loop. Okay. There's the trunk. I may do a later video of the chassis when I put it up on the lift if that's something that people ask me to see. Uh, I know that the car has what's left of the original exhaust system. Well, maybe even it could have been replaced at one time. I don't know. I haven't looked at it yet. But all the correct clamps, hangers, brackets, um, everything is there. It just needs, it's time for a new exhaust. So, there you have it. That's what they sound like without the resonators. Resonators are gone. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's longer than my usual videos, but uh, I feel it's important that we document this car for some of the guys that have been asking questions to look at the car and see what's what the original cars look like and uh, so there you have it I hope you like the 59 Cadillac Series 62 coupe thanks for watching